hello and welcome to the minecraft video and today i'm going to be showing you a tutorial on the capture the redstone torch system um, so what i hope to show you today is uh, the goal system and then the um, counting system we may get on to resetting the counting as well uh, we'll see how we go so the goal is uh, very simple to make i'll just show you that the uh, Redstone dust is only for building purposes, it's not anything important. And then just like that. So, this is where they're going to place a redstone torch. So, this is where you're going to take off the power. Place a, uh, another redstone torch there to invert it. Oops. Then a piston there. And then simply place your lava here. So the lava will go through, destroy the redstone torch, and then the piston will come in and block off the lava again. Okay, so that's basically the goal uh, done. And then this over here is a ring counter. Now what this will do is it will count up to, um, it will count, it will do five counts, um, which means it can count up to four if we include zero. So uh, the way to build uh, this one here, it's very simple. He says after failing <laughs> three times uh, trying to do the tutorial. Um, very simple. Um, simply place a piston uh, wherever you want it, and then you need to have space uh, that side of the piston to be able to build a counter. Then you're going to go one block away, and then you're just going to count two, three, four uh, glass blocks, then one, then. Uh, <laughs> Then you're going to go one, two, three, four, just like that. One, one, two, three, four, just like that. And then what you're going to put, you're going to put a uh, piston underneath this glass block. Sorry that I keep going back to check what I've done. Um, if you're trying to do more numbers, it's a lot of trial and error uh, to try and figure out uh, exactly uh, what you want to do. Then you place a piston there, and also you want to place a piston there to push the block down. So they're going to be pushed off by that one. Now, the timing is, uh, again, uh, trial and error really. But one thing I did notice that I didn't notice before is on this end, you don't have to put any real timing. Um, this is because when this one pushes up, it can then just put that one across and I reckon you could do it on this end as well just having that one come down and then that one um, but that works so it's like that, that works and um, so we'll just leave it at that so for testing what you want to have, to, what you want to have is a um, two repeated delay there so it just pushes it around just like that Now, sometimes what you will get is it, um, some of the pistons will um, end up not pushing a block, but it will st um, the ring counter may look like it's still working. What you want to make sure is that every time there's a tick on the clock, that the piston moves once. Because if not, then your counting might go wrong um, when you start to try and count the scores, which um, could mean that you have to repair it later on. So just you have to make sure that the uh, clock works properly. Okay, so once you've got that set up, then what you want to do is you want to um, do a pulse limiter. So this is very simple to create, just like that. And one, two, two, and like that. Okay, so it's like beautiful now you're then gonna you'd make this a bit closer together of course uh, but you just kind of touch that to the so that just gave a pulse there because there was a score on the um, from as a score from the uh, goal and then that has moved that round now be able to be able to count uh, the score what you're gonna need to do is have five blocks just like that with repeaters underneath them 
and then you put wire above here and put blocks here to stop them interfering with each other and then you can just come here and simply place a torch there and that will power all those repeaters. Now on the other side you want to line up the repeaters as well just like that and then so this is a counter so as you see it's on the second one there if we come over to the goal or we should probably invert that yeah. um, come over to the goal then you see it's moved across to the third one to show you that again so it's moved across to the fourth one okay so the next thing that we're want, going to want to do is we're going to want to separate all of these into our separate lines um, this also can depend on where you want the seven segment display to be and I'm actually just going to place the seven segment display over there somewhere just directly in front so um, to do this I'm simply going to do uh, that I think then oops. then that and then we can place uh, wire there to reduce delay that there one two like that there and then just take that off there like that okay and then what you could also do to reduce delay if you find it the mo oh, most important is you could change those two there to um, wires as well okay so this is your uh, five lines and I'm gonna actually um, do the uh, reset line now because it seems to have gone nice and quickly um, so to do the reset line what we want to do is make sure that it's back onto zero now as the counter is going round like that this is going to be our zero so we want to take off all these other lines so this is going to be the one line uh, two line three line and we're going to take off the four line as well Oops. It's like that. And so that's all that's four lines taken off like that. And then we just want to place wire on all of these. Oops. Just like so. And on here. And over here. Okay. So now what we want to do is check that all the lines reach uh, to the end. So that one doesn't there. So we're going to place a repeater there. These two here, they reach, but just yeah, just to be uh, safe for those. There. Okay. So now we know that all of them uh, reach uh, to the end of this row now what we're going to build is the uh, reset line so to do this it's uh, very simple first of all what we're going to do is create an AND gate so this means that oops that the reset can be activated by a lever or a button um, uh, depending on what you think is best and then we're just going to place red uh, torches next to them again and put well, not any delay put repeaters in there like that and then we can just put our lever here so that'll be our reset and then put that there put that there that on top there so this is just finishing off the end gate I need to sneeze. Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, I do. Ah, oh. oh well. Um, so that's just our uh, AND gate. And that goes like that. And then we can take down all of these um, torches. And then we're going to put all of these into uh, pulse limiters. Slide. Uh, 
that and then all of those on there. Um, I think that you may be able to put the line directly into that pulse limiter. Um, but I'll need to do some testing for that and I'll I'll tell you if you can. I'll probably put it as an annotation if you can uh, do that. And then we can simply take off this line here. Oops. Line here. And put it in there. And then we're going to put a torch there and repeater there. Okay, so now if we flick the switch, we should take it back to zero. Okay, so we're just going to test the reset line again by uh, putting the score to one. And then we're going to fly over here. So the score is currently at one, as you can see there. And then. Oops. So, turn the reset line on. Switch around. And there you go. Then it resets back to zero. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.